Hi, I'm Ken Butel. I'm the supervisor of the commercial technical group here at Vitamix. And today I'm going to talk to you about drive sockets, drive socket wear, what causes it, and what you can do to avoid it. So the first thing I'd like to bring to your attention is there's different types of set screws that are going to come in the Vitamix drive socket. So you see this set screw here is a little bit smaller than the one on the side over here. This has a plastic uh, helix screw. This is the set screw that you're going to get on your production drive socket that you're going to get when the machine is brand new. When you get a replacement part from Vitamix, you're going to get a much longer set screw. And the reason we did that was we knew that there'd be some wear occasionally on the motor shaft as time goes on. And we wanted you to give the ability to be able to adjust for that wear. When you buy the drive socket from Vitamix, first of all, it's going to come in this white bag. It's going to say Vitamix official part. And it's also going to say item number 891 on the back. With that, you're going to get a really nice set of instructions. And everything that I'm talking about today will be in these instructions. It tells you a little bit about the difference of the logo. It tells you about how to replace the set screw uh, and how to adjust everything. So I'll bring to your attention a couple of things on the lineup here. One of them is that uh, we have an older style drive socket here. We've got the old uh, hyphenated Vitamix logo. Uh, and the set screw on that is on the opposite side of the logo. Why that's important is because as the new logo came into uh, effect and the new drive socket, we actually moved the set screw and it's now on the same side as the logo. So when you're changing that set screw out or that drive socket out, if you're looking for that set screw, it's important to know that there's a little bit of a difference there. Uh, the other thing that's important to note is we do have two different style drive sockets and they have different size holes in them. So for our standard lineup, everything uh, from Vitaprep to TQO, we're going to have this metal insert. It's going to be a little bit smaller hole. And the only one that's going to have a little bit larger hole and no insert is going to be from our Excel model here. Uh, and again, it's just important to note that uh, if, you, if you get one of these for the Excel and you'll see there's not a metal insert in, it, in there, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that that's the way it's designed. So as we go through the lineup here, I'm just going to show you some of the different wear patterns and some of the things that happen. And I can tell you what causes it to happen and what you can do to avoid it. So the first one I'm going to pick up here is going to basically show you that there's some wear on the top of the drive socket. That wear is caused when this blade gear engages into that. And this is again when you're putting the container on while the machine is still running. It's going to t typically wear the top out. Some of the other wear patterns that you're going to get are these gears down inside here, the female gear. It's going to wear out. And again, this wear is caused when you take the container off and on when the machine is still running. So sometimes what will happen is we'll get a call in the technical department that says that the, uh, the, the, the blade isn't spinning. And the reason for that is you can see the engagement here is quite sloppy. And if something hard were to get in the container, uh, it just slips around and, and the blade's not going to spin like it should. So as we go down the line up here, I want to bring this particular drive socket to your attention. There's a slight little crack in this drive socket. So when you're cleaning the machine, I want you to clean the machine with a purpose. What that means is don't just wipe it off. You know, when you're wiping it, look for things that might be wrong. So in this case, if I would see this split here, uh, what we don't see is on the other side, this drive socket is actually cracked in half. So if it were, it'll probably run for a little while, but what it's going to do is it's going to be wobbly, and it's also going to cause some premature uh, motor shaft wear. Now, if something really hard gets put in a container, let's say it's a big frozen banana or a, a piece of frozen fruit, or somebody may actually drop a spatula or some kind of a, a hard object in there, this drive socket is going to crack, and it's designed, again, to protect the machine uh, from those types of, uh, of, of failures. So this one here split in half, pretty catastrophic. Uh, sometimes they'll just split slightly. And again, this is the drive socket sort of talking to you, saying that, you know, hey, something hard got in here. I didn't like what it was. It was uh, it, it's time to think about maybe a recipe development change if you continually break these things. Uh, or again, it's just uh, time to take a look at some kind of preventive maintenance steps where you may want to uh, change the drive socket. Like if you've got a big weekend coming up, uh, what you don't want to do is get, get caught in a pinch where the thing isn't working right. So it's a good idea, again, to either get yourself on a, on a bit of a cadence for changing these things or, again, be the person that's observing when this is worn out. Uh, it's time to change it. 
And as a reminder, everything I've talked to you about today is going to come in the instruction sheet that I spoke of earlier when you buy the replacement OEM drive socket. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to call the technical service group and they'll be happy to assist you with any type of question or anything that I've uh, gone over today.